Kind of off the rails, but that's fine. Let's just yeah. let's let's jump into our game. How about that? Yeah, I'll be looking forward to this. Get your facts straight. So, are you ready for this, Sean? This is your first time doing this. I'm not ready for this. You're not ready. Why not? Because I didn't read that far down in the in the notes. You didn't bring facts. Uh, are you no, serious? I'm serious. Oh come on, for real? man! Come on, man! Oh, you're killing me. This is the I best bit up, of the show. I can yeah. Come up with something. You, you, you're ridiculous, man. You do I this. Up, I can come up with something. Frantic oh. Googling. I know. This is, this is sad. This is Did a... you know that Tetris is the highest selling game of all time? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's start with Toby. What's your first fact, Toby? Okay. My first fact is an Animal Crossing fact. Oh, boy. Did you know that in Animal Crossing, this is the GameCube one. Hmm. In Animal Crossing, if you name your character Miyamoto, you will receive a letter from a villager saying, I heard you upended the tea table, so I thought you might need a new one. And it comes with some table furniture. That is false. I'm being contrarian today. I almost want to say true. So I can get a leg up on this. But I think it's false. I don't think that this is a thing. It's totally false. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think... I, I just had a feeling that Toby would... I think something. that's a good one, though. I think they it's should a good, that. It, it, that is kind of funny. That is kind of cool. But I don't think that they would ever put that in the Nintendo game because they don't want to, like, you know, mess with Nintendo that way. Um, okay. For... In Splatoon, you will sometimes come across dancing inklings. This was inspired by the youth of Japan who will go out at nights when stores close and dance in front of the storefronts. True or false? In Japan, I've seen they have these these uh, sort of rockabilly parties in the street where people just get together and dress as, like, punks and stuff and all crazy stuff, and they just start dancing, and everyone just gets into it. So that sounds sort of believable to me. So you but true? I don't know. I mean, dancing in front of storefronts, like, maybe if they were, is like, an Apple store or something. <laughs> like, cause, you know, these Apple fans that are fanatical about it, I, I mean, I don't know. Like, What are you talking would, about? Would, would they go out in front of... in front of an Apple store. I did not about an Apple you, store. You said storefronts. I'm just saying yeah. that if it was an Apple store, I could see it happening. If it was, like, a furniture store or a curtain store, why would they go and dance out the front of it? Like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm going to say false. Okay. Sean? I'm also going to say false. It's absolutely true. They actually... Oh, damn it. They, they actually saw it and inspired them to put it in the game, and then they actually went back to the studio and did their own dance moves, recorded them, and then put them in the game. And occasionally when you're playing the game, when you walk around the lobby, you'll see Inklings dancing and stuff. Is it just specific stores, like... It's, I don't know if it's specific stores. They just hit in front of stores. It's like electronic stores or, or like funky clothing outlets. I can see maybe. Oh, come on, would you stop this? Stop details. It's all in the it's details. It's not the details. I, they didn't say it's in front of an Apple store or a Microsoft store. They just said it's in front of a store. You know, I, I, yeah, I'm just saying like curtain oh store. Like this, is, this is the problem. Not, this no is one's going to dance in front of a carpet. This right isn't now, get like. your details. This isn't get your details straight. This is get your facts straight. So I apologize. <laughs> You're wrong. So do you have anything? Okay, I got something here. Okay. Super Mario was not always known as Super Mario. He had a name before he was named Mario. That is true. That is not what you're disputing here. Mm -hmm. The name that he used to be called was Leap Man. False. False. <laughs> Jump Man. You knew it was Jump Man. Okay. Yeah, so it Jump know. Man. Everybody knows that. I didn't know that. Oh really? God. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. That's like Nintendo Facts 101. <laughs> That's where I am. <laughs> Are you okay. really? Okay. Oh my Nintendo god. Nintendo Facts 400. Okay. Oh my god. All right, Toby. What's your next fact? You're welcome All for right. the free, you guys. 
I've got a nice, I've got a nice fact here for you, Bobby. It's yeah. a Sonic fact. Uh, we said no more. We said nah, week one. No, that's it. No rules oh, about this. Scumbag. At the end of Sonic Generations, Eggman goes back in time and meets his former self, formerly known as Doctor Robotnik. So you know, Sonic Generations has old Sonic and new Sonic game and like the art style and it's like side scrolling and 3D Sonic and they sort of different levels for each type of Sonic right so at the end of the game new new Eggman goes back in time to meet his former self Dr. Robotnik and the two are arguing about how they can change his fate because he loses at the end because he's the bad guy and they're arguing about it and discussing like different ways and different things that they can do and in the end they decide instead of world domination they're going to settle on teaching as a career instead oh <laughs> that is elaborate i think yeah it's it's i don't want novels man this is ridiculous. This is why. I felt because like I had to explain it because you look confused, Bobby. I am confused. I'm confused why you think this game is so good. I'm confused why every Sonic, Sonic got Generations was good. No Sonic game is good. None. Not a single one. None. People love Sonic Generations. Level one of the first game was good. It went downhill very fast from there. Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 are also very good. Sean, stop, stop Googling stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no cheating. Yeah, Sean's over there like he's. I'm not even. I don't even know what the question was. <laughs> I can read it out again. I've already, no, I've already no, watched my answer. I'm gonna say false. I'm just gonna say false. I was gonna say false anyways, based on the elaborate story and the need to explain the lie. I'm reading right through you, Toby. False. It's it's true. Damn it! What? At the end of it, at the end of it, they're on post credits. There's a, a white background. Eggman and Doctor Robotnik are chatting, talking about world domination, all the different tricks that they can do. But then they decide, you know what? Maybe I should go back and get that teaching degree and go into teaching instead. And then Doctor Eggman goes, "I think that's a good idea." Gabe Hills, I apologize, sir. Because I know that you had said, like, man, there is a lot of Sonic facts. We will find a way to rein him in. I apologize. He had to listen to yet again another Sonic fact. Good lord. Okay, so mine is... In the original Dragon Quest, slot... Or, I'm sorry, stat growth is determined by the first four letters in a player's name. This means that some players will be naturally stronger than others depending upon their name. Is that true, true or false? That's I true. Mean, I think that's true. It's true. That's a cool fact. That's kind of... That is kind of cool. It's, uh... It's different. You know what I mean? Okay, so right now... Hopefully, Sean, you got a good... you have another fact, Sean? I don't have anything good. Oh, good lord. Because we are tied right now at two apiece. All of us. So, depending upon the fact that you have... I'll just give you another freebie so that you guys can yeah, but go, that, then, then go into a tie. Yeah, but then you got to come up with a one for us to, to break the Okay, tie. I, I got a good one. I got a good one. Okay, give us a good one. The maximum achievable score possible in a game of Pac-Man is 4,333,360 points. True or false? Can you read that number again? The stop. maximum. No, stop. Come on, this is ridiculous. He's okay. doing it on purpose. He's just, I know he is. Look at the grin on his face. I'll read, read that I'll number. Play right into it. Four million three hundred thirty-three thousand three hundred sixty. I think true. I'm gonna go true as well because I don't think you'd be able to remember that number if you just made it up, unless you I, typed it down. I did make it up. I totally played you guys. <laughs> did you write it down? Or did you I did not write that? it down. Oh my god, how did you remember that? Because I'm smarter than I look. I know I look stupid. <laughs> I know I'm Canadian. Oh, I thought I was going to catch you out. Okay, the so now we're all tied. Right now we're all tied at two. You don't want to know what the number I, is? I, 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 I think it's like two. It's probably like 256 or two foot, whatever. Two million or it's nine million. There is, the there is no you, maximum score. No, I'm just kidding, there is. There is. 
I'm glad I got you. Hooray, I redeemed what is, myself. What is, the, what is the score? It's 3,333,360, oh. not 4 million. Good Lord. That's how I remember. I just swapped all the not that smart. He pulled it down. Sean just, down. Sean just broke a cardinal rule of the show. <laughs> but he didn't the, know. He didn't know, but he should have read. He should have asked questions. No, I, <laughs> now that you mention it, I did recall you guys a little. Sorry. Yeah, that's what that's what Alan does every week. Yes. Okay, let's run one more time through. Toby, I know you got another fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what is it? Okay, so Grand Theft Auto was born from a glitch. The original concept for Grand Theft Auto was a cops versus robbers game, but the police were too aggressive due to a glitch, but they found it so fun that they turned it into Grand Theft Auto. Um, Which part are we saying is true or false? Like, is it true that it... The, the reason why they brought it... Or the reason, the, why they, the reason Grand, that we're yeah, disputing? The Grand Theft Auto video game series was born out of a glitch. Originally, DMA Design, the company that turned into Rockstar, they were making a game called Cops vs. Robbers. And in it, the police were supposed to pull you over and arrest you. But there was a glitch that made them crash into you all the time. And they thought, this is really fun. We'll turn this into Grand Theft Auto. I think that's true. Yeah, I think the same. I think it's true. It is. It's true. Yes! <laughs> okay. So right now it is myself and Sean with three, Toby with two. Come on, Toby. I'm, I'm giving so you nice. points. I'm giving I... you points. <laughs> so the sole reason that Fire Emblem was brought to the West was because Roy and Marth had an appearance in Smash. True or false? False. Can you read it one more time? Uh, I'm not trying sole, to... The sole reason that Fire Emblem was brought to the West was because Roy and Marth made an appearance in Smash. Yeah, it could be true. Because Smash fans are fanatical and they latch on to characters. And if they yeah. love a character so much, they might bring it over. I'm stuck on the word soul. Like, is that the only reason, or is it the primary reason? I'm I would gonna, say I'm it's the primary going, reason. I'm going with false. I'm just going to stick with my guns. I don't like this question at all. For the <laughs> record, I don't like it at all. I thought you would like it. I brought a Fire Emblem question for you. I figured. I know, excited. but... And who knows what the reason is? Where's the, what's the fact this isn't quantifiable? What do you mean? You don't... Okay, articles, I'm done. I'm done articles. Articles. the question. I, I don't like it, but I think it's false. It is false. Yes. It was partly because of that, and then the other reason was because of the success of the of Advance Wars. Awesome. So that I put in the sole reason was because I needed to clarify that like there was two reasons. I, I, if I would have said the reason. And then I go, oh, no, 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 there was another reason. Then, So that's why I said the sole reason. So right now, <clears throat> Sean is in the lead. Sean has four. Myself and Toby have three. Sean that didn't bring any facts I is know. in the lead. So he's got to do <laughs> one more fact. And if Toby and I get it wrong, Sean wins. Um. Okay. I've got more facts if it is another tiebreaker. You probably have better facts, because I'm just reading off this thing. It's not very good. I apologize, guys. Next time, I'll, I'll do better. It's 8 in the morning. Well, now That's it's fine. 9.30. Yeah. Sorry. It's fine. <sighs> okay, the best-selling game on the original Xbox was made by Bungie. And that game is Halo. True or false? I'm going to say true. When did Call of Duty Modern Warfare come out? That was on... That was on 360, 360. so this is original We're talking original OG Xbox. Xbox. Xbox One original. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say true. 
the original Halo is the second best selling <laughs> game on Xbox. It is not the first. What was the first? Halo 2. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, you're yeah. filth. You're absolute filth. I can't believe this. Oh, my God. You could have said bloody Mortal Kombat or something ridiculous, but no. We lost because of nonsense. We lost because of a stupid sequel. This is nonsense. This it's is a totally why, different game. This is why Alan got reined in. You you are of the same mindset. First off, next time before you come, you need to bring facts. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing that we've discovered about Alan. He doesn't come with facts. He does what I just did. No, he doesn't do that. He has facts. Oh, but, I'm sure. But what he does is he changes little things, like a number or something real minute. And we had yeah. to call him out on it. Was like no more of that. I like the way you guys do it because you actually create stories around yeah. around things, not just. But, okay, you know, I'll give you the break though because you you basically showed up. You know, well, your show I'm notes prepared. are like six pages long. Nobody reads all the way to the end. <sighs> Tell me specifically. Don't next bury time, the next lead. Time I'll go. Topic Don't one. Bury is the lead. This. Topic two is this. Topic three is this. <clears throat> so. I'm lashing anyway, out because I'm feeling defensive. I apologize. Anyway, I, I feel you feel defensive. I feel like I got cheated out of a victory. I'm sorry to your fans. I, I'm just glad Bobby didn't show. win. That's the problem. I was on a two two win streak. A two two game win streak. I've now I'm back to zero. I now officially retire zero. from Hit Your Factory. But but the, the fact is the, the fact is is that Toby lost yet again. That's three true. weeks straight that he's lost. That's so true. That part of it I'm happy about. <laughs>